Oh, she put garlic in there. Me and us must never part. Maki Dada. I see you, Kim. What's up, girl? How y'all doing? And don't try to start talking about this wig that I done slicked on. Oh my God, y'all. I seen a bat last night. A bat or some type of flying bird. I don't know. And I saw it. On the saw something jiggling the pole, and then I saw it, y'all, and I jumped so damn hard. Callie started laughing, y'all, and my neck is out of socket. When y'all get 50, don't let shit scare you. You just stand there, don't jerk your neck, or none of that shit. <laughs> I got to patch old lady patches on, girl. I seen that rope move, and I heard something and start flying. I was like, ah! Girl, I thought it was I thought it was gonna bite me. Oh my god, y'all. I went outside and when I saw something moving, girl, I, it was this plant right here. It was this plant. It had hit me in the face while I was looking to see what it was, y'all. And I promise you I jumped so damn hard that I need a doctor now. Hey. Good morning, y'all. Are y'all ready for the episode with me and Bree? I ain't cry. I was a gangster. I ain't cry. Are you leaving me? Are you leaving? Go ahead. Girl. Kershawn prayed for you. Aww. Are you serious, guys? Are y'all playing around again? Kershawn prayed for you. Go watch Pastor Bryant podcast. Well, that's absolutely nice. I pray for her and Junior all the time, regardless of how I feel, regardless of what we've been through. So the feeling is mutual. That's a sign of definitely of deliverance and healing. That is definitely a good sign. I haven't watched it and y'all haven't sent it to me. Normally y'all send me everything negative. Now it's something positive. I haven't received anything. I haven't received a prayer or anything from you guys. So, okay, somebody just sent it to me on my phone. Whoever this is said, please watch. Because normally by now, if it was something negative, y'all would have sent me 35 videos. I have not received one video in my DM of anybody praying for me. And I wonder why I woke up on the good side of the bed this morning. I woke up on the good side of the bed this morning. So thank you, thank you, thank you for anybody that encouraged healing and restoration in this family or upon these children. I'm pretty sure DJ Sky told her to behind the scenes that I'm not the guy y'all making me out to be. So shout out to her for that. Make sure y'all show DJ Sky some love because she is truly a heartfelt mediator. One who does not... Um, One who does not choose sides and one who just wants to see. Oh, shit, the glue, y'all.
But you still look young. Thank so thank girl. Thank you. I'm holding on, but my body is old, honey. I jerked my neck one time and that told me all I needed to know, honey. I got a patch on. I didn't get no good rest. Krishan said a fake prayer for you and your family. Rebuke and return to sender. Um, so I'm just going to say this. When you are a child of the most high God, you can say it's fake. You can say it's real. That is a, that it don't have nothing to do with me. If it's fake or if it's real, I'm always, you know what I'm saying? Going <laughs> to confess the truth to God. I'm going to tell him how I really feel. I'm not going to fake for nobody. So he already know me. He already know each and every one of my kids. Um, and um, so you can't say no freak prayer for me. You can't put no voodoo on me. You can't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because it have to belong. What belongs to God, you can't do none of that mumbo jumbo. So don't let nobody. If you know God, you know how to shake off anything and everything every day. So for you to come tell us that and disturb the prayer, you you didn't need to do that. But I, I, I appreciate it. But you didn't need to disturb the prayer with negative energy. And if that's how you really felt in your heart, you should have just said the prayer for me yourself and rebuked it for me. Because as you know, as Christians with authority... With the authority of God, <laughs> you could have shook that off without even saying nothing and disturbing that prayer. Now, woe to the man who makes false accusations for their own benefit. Woe to you. Um, she prayed for you. She prayed for Jaden and she prayed for all the kids. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Because if you need a, if you need God to move for you at any time, if you need God to do anything for you, honey, you cannot allow anyone to block that. And that is definitely how you get a word through to God. Because he is not getting ready to help you get out of jail, to help you have a better marriage, to help you do nothing. If you do not forgive yourself first and forgive the people that you have wronged and pray for those that you have done wrong or pay for those that you felt done you wrong. It's a whole process. So, I mean, I've been through it. I know I had to forgive somebody before God, you know, cause you don't want the courts to sentence you. You want God to sentence you that way, whatever he decides for your fate, you know, you know what I did every step one, step two, step three, whatever you give me, is coming straight from you and I can accept that. So that's the that was the that's what I was looking for was to find out if it's real or not because you have to be you got to be in your full truth when you go to the Lord because the Lord can see everything we done done said, how we feel, what he need to work on us. And you can't go lie to the Lord, you can't go sugarcoat it to the Lord. All you could do is ask him to help you process certain things wherever you are, wherever I'm at. That's what I say, Lord. You know me better than I know myself. So you should watch. I'm just so surprised that y'all haven't sent me the video. So I see one of my people done sent it to me just now, but I, I, I didn't know anything about a video that y'all watching. None of y'all sent the positive energy. Like y'all send the negative energy. She did say Carlissa name. I know y'all fans of that girl, but I don't trust her until I see real change. There's a reaping coming for all who have wronged her for fame. You can't get ahead of it but it's your choice not to force it or make it right. Um, she got a big check for that prayer. It's a lot of Krishan hate pages in here. I rebuke them. Let's just rebuke all the hate pages. How about that? Let's just like, let's rebuke all the hate pages so that it can all simmer down. Not just one or the other, because that's like you're not really coming for real. So if you see a hate page and it's on either side, the good, the bad, the ugly, just rebuke them all. 
I thought DJ Sky snatched your baby daddy up. Serious question. That's her choice to do. Um, that's her choice to do if she want to be with my baby daddy or not. But her and I had our own private conversation without y'all. And I can tell you what I felt about the spirit. Um... Money. Um, what? Uh, look at the link I sent you. Okay, I gotta go watch whatever y'all sending me finally because I didn't get nothing, but I'm gonna go watch it right now. Um, watch the video and come back on here and rebuke all the hate and negativity. Thank you, Mommy1622. Thank you, Mommy1622. I sent the link to, okay, y'all sending it now. Great, I appreciate it, I really do. But y'all didn't send it to me before I got on this live because y'all know I was about to get on here and talk my shit. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't know why y'all think I hate these people. I don't. I, I'm grateful to God that my son is sitting down and can't sit up and <laughs> do nothing. When I tell you I'm grateful to God how he moving things. See, when this happened to me, when my son was 16, I didn't know what God was doing. I was like, whoa, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I know you ain't letting nobody in no jail. I know we didn't already talked about how we, how about these kids of mine that you gave me that I done hustled and bustled and, and took to you and dipped in that water. I know you ain't doing this to me, but you know what? I know today, I know today when he say sit down. I know what he trying to do. I know he I know what he working on. I know his plan. So back then, girl, me and God was going, we was going toe to toe. I was climbing up tall mountains with my dog, talking to him like, what up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We was going back and forth. We was having dialogue. But now I, you know, I now I see. I've been seeing, but now I see like, oh, okay, you trying to protect them. Because I don't know how to do that part and they daddies is scared of them. So, yeah, I get it. So, lesson learned, y'all. If God sit your child down, baby, be, be glad he's sitting them down and not all the way down. Just let him. And when the time he gone, you just work on you and pray and hope and pray and work on you. But he going to take care of all your enemies. If you believe God is your God, everything going to turn out right for everybody. I want to see everybody succeed. See, I keep trying to tell y'all, I win whether we win or whether we lose. I'm going to win because no matter which one of them win, they all mine. So I win. I tried to tell y'all that from the beginning. They all my kids. So they all going to win somehow, some way. Okay. So y'all keep coming at me like they don't mess with you, girl. I'm at the top of the pole over here. I'm over here and like, Lord, you, <laughs> and when I can't do it, he going to do it. And when, when this one eat, then this one turn to eat and that one turn to eat and they all eating. Cause he said, I was, he said, this is what God told me. Okay. <laughs> Shh, we ain't gonna let the devil know. He ain't gonna heard it from us. But God told me one day when I got up real early and the car was broke down and it was cold outside and I had to bundle them kids up and push that stroller with all them three beautiful babies, honey. Just beautiful babies. Just <laughs> so beautiful that when we in the store, they say, oh, can I buy them one? Or, oh, they so cute. Or, oh, they should be on TV, girl. Move away from my babies. Move away from my treasure. Move away from my gifts. Okay, God told me, he said, just keep going. You're going to see your children's children, and you're going to be happy. Girl, do you know I don't need nothing? I didn't need nothing else but that. You don't need nothing else but a promise from God. That's all you need is that promise. You don't know how you're going to get it, where it's going to come from, how I'm going to be happy. But he already know I like to get it in, so he, I already knew I was going to get a husband. And he already know I, you know, I'm not, I like nice things. I like to wake up and look out at the mountains and the palm trees. So he already, I knew when he said happy girl, I knew when he said happy that it had to be happy. You know what I'm saying? I knew it had to have all the pieces in order and I had to be able to, cause sometimes I get a little weary and I get a little stressful and I need to be like, you know, I'm not like y'all. I need to, I need a little, Lord, I need to see. 
Oh, okay. You got it over there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When y'all sent me that paperwork with Dre, like, you know, Dre is ordained to be a pastor in his own time. He's going to have two beautiful daughters. He's going to stay married. He's going to, he's, he's on his Moses journey. I told John, I told Dre before he, he went out, I said, Dre, Moses lost his mind, baby. You about to lose your mind. You're going to have to lose it to find it. I'll, I tell them in the morning, I'll be like, oh, whoa, whoa, don't go left, don't go, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. No. But sometimes they listen, and sometimes they don't. But I can tell you this, when they don't listen, they sitting there going, I wish I would have listened. Amen? So don't be running around here thinking you got to be using no special professional dialogue. You can't say no cuss words. And you got you got to be in your own time with your own walk. As long as you know that that's your Lord up there. Now, I don't fornicate. I try my bestest not to tell no lie. I try not to uh, steal and rob and kill and all of that stuff. I look at them commandments regularly and I say, mm, check, <laughs> check, <laughs> check, check, check. I don't have to be married. I didn't never have to be married, honey. I could have been running through them, okay? I said, no, 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 ma'am. Fornication will not be my reason. And I already know I like to get it in. So, Lord, <laughs> direct me to the right path because you already know I'm going to be in that bed, okay? He already know my weakness, so I just tell him to just fill that hole, honey. I already know the outcome of all of this, and I pray that it makes everybody full and everybody happy and everybody look back and say, whoa. Okay, because I've been praying for this <laughs> way, way before anybody came into any picture or anybody met anybody. Okay, <laughs> way long time ago, I had this promise. And I can tell you one thing, I seize my children's children every day on this internet. And some days I be happy and some days I be a little heartbroken. But for the most part, I'm happy because I already know how this is going to turn out. I already know. So I appreciate y'all sending me um, the good energy and the good vibes. I'm going to go and check that out right now. I'm going, I'm going, what is y'all talking about? He telling some, she telling somebody you over there bleeding like a cow. How you know she bleeding? Paid to pray. I don't know about nothing about getting paid to pray. I, I, I don't know. Wait, why are y'all people upset? Like, yes, why is anybody upset? Now, if your spirit is vexed and you are in disbelief or you not feeling some type of way all you have to do is go pray about it because god gonna reveal everything we try to hide no matter how we want it to come like y'all was running around here talking about i wasn't no type of mama and i did this and you know my sons got on here and threw their little temper tantrums and most of y'all who agreed with that could already see that that wasn't that wasn't even <laughs> ain't now one of them <laughs> When, they, when my son went to counseling with his wife, and I ain't telling her business, and she told her list of things, and then he told his list of things, her and that counselor looked at him like, so you had to babysit while your mom went to work? Mm. And you didn't get to talk to your daddy? Mm. Mm. Okay, but your mom drove you to four different high schools to keep you from getting out of trouble. Your mom took you to every practice and every game and fed you on time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you was mad because you had to babysit? <laughs> I had to babysit. Do hair, pick up, drop off, <laughs> put the cocaine in the back of my car, drive it around because my mama was flipping and tripping. I had to deal with her husband trying to dig in my drawers. I had to deal with the uncles and, and friends trying to dig in my drawers. Boy, I know you ain't complaining about babysitting your brother and your sister. And you half ass did that job. But that's okay. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> I, 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 the whole time, the Lord was like, those same people that shame you going to see that you, the, what you've been doing this whole time, they going to see. And girl, I had to, it, I was like, well, what's taking you so long? They on here talking about everything I work for. Why are you taking so long? I didn't do nothing. I didn't go smoke. I didn't go drink. I didn't get to have no fun. I was hurrying up marrying people so I wouldn't be in here fornicating over top of these kids. And everybody else got to enjoy their life, Lord. Why is you taking so long? Girl, been a whole year. 
And y'all just now starting to see the forest for the trees. Now, mind you, I drove Krishan to that, to that interview. I prayed over that. I took her over here and took her over there. I took Jaden over there and took her over there. And I took Callie's baby daddy and gave him a job and got him on his feet and let him move out here for Carter. And I'm still doing for these kids shit I don't want to do, okay? I didn't never cuss out Callie's husband, mama, family for what they went through. I still pray for that. Even though she went through that, I said, girl, I understand. Because if my son got beat up and was all of that happened, I would have tried to pull my son away from that woman too. I didn't go over there and tell that lady nothing. That's your choice. That's your son, boo. That's between you, him, and God. Did y'all see me cuss Io out? Did y'all see me cuss the lady out for leaving my daughter with no money and no no and and two kids? Not a goddamn word. I picked up them pieces, honey, and I made them do what they do. You know why? Because I understand a woman trying to protect her child. If that's what you feel you need to do, boo, your loss. <laughs> But anywho, I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing and keep being who I'm being. I'm going to keep trying to show love everywhere I possibly can. Obviously, my kids is going to come first and y'all kids going to come second. And my grandkids going to come before my kids because we already seen that <laughs> I don't owe none of them nothing else. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I sent my gifts under the table, behind the table. I didn't hop on here and share my, you know, what I was doing. My, my plan was to make sure that if John couldn't make sure he had food, water, diapers, whatever, that's why I got to step in. Same thing I would do for Callie when her husband left her. You feel me? I ain't never going to ever, 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 ever let y'all stop <laughs> my flow, how I feel about my kids. Now, how I feel about their parents, I'm going to work on that. That's a work in progress every day. You can't call nobody's interview fake. We can't do that. We ain't allowed to judge that interview. You got to wait and see. Only thing you could do is let time tell. Because God going to test you through and through. Everything we do, he going to test us. I, they just sent the interview to me, girl. Now, if it was something negative that was said about me, they would have been sent it 100 million times already. But I just got it. I may not be perfect, but I never killed a baby. I have had an abortion myself. I've had one. So be grateful to God that you that you knew better because I did not know better when I had one baby and I didn't have another one after that. I had an abortion when I was about 20 or 21 with, with John's dad or either the man I cheated on him with. And I got the abortion because I already had two kids and I wasn't married and I didn't want to go through with the whole situation. But to this day, I regret it. And that my, I, I, I tell you, I, I know that child is somewhere waiting on me and I plan to give it all the love I could possibly give it, honey. <laughs> But no, 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 I would not do another one. And and when my daughter had one, she did not tell me. Her and Blue went and did that together. That was their little secret brother-sister bond. I, did, I would have talked her out of it too. But I sure made sure I let her know, you better not have now another one. You done said you're getting off, but you still haven't. Why are you rushing us, Ashley? If somebody on here or the spirit moved me to speak to somebody, why are you hating? Why are you rushing us, Ashley? Oh, you want me to go watch the video real quick? I've tried to subscribe to Sixot. Sixot has the best quality customer service. If you have any problem, I've never heard anyone say they had a problem on Sixot on the Patreon. That's why I put it on there. So they got, and I pay extra for the customer service. So if you can't log on or something's not on, click that customer service lady. She gonna pop on there and walk you right through it. Proverbs 16, six and 16 through 19. She want us to go read Proverbs six through 16. Krishan pray for you and Jaden, the Lord lying 
that tongue. Jaden looks great on baddies. He made me leave without my kids. Who made you leave without your kids? Y'all pick and choose what to be upset about. Krishan even prayed for whack. I plead the blood of Jesus over the whole life. Thank you. Because you need to go watch it. Didn't you say Krishan needed an abortion when she was pregnant? I did not ever say that. I would have never told that child to have no abortion. And you was telling a lie. See, it's people like you, G, that tell lies. I wouldn't have dared told her to get no abortion. But what I would have told her is not to get pregnant. And that's just for the simple fact that Jaden just had her baby. And I thought that that wasn't the right thing to do. I'm not robbing no woman. I'm not dealing, I'm not doing none of that to no woman that got kids and ain't never slept with nobody before. She might have a special relationship with the Lord because I wasn't able to do that. Okay. I, I'm getting minds in. So I don't know how she was able to do that. That might be between her and the Lord. Now all I said was that I didn't think that was a smart thing to tamper with. That's all I said. What happened to aunties? We are in hiatus right now. We are waiting for them to get done finishing baddies. We are in hiatus. As y'all know, Zeus is coming up real fast and a production team might not be coming up as fast. I don't know, but we are waiting for them to get done with their the money-making show of the network. So we are definitely behind the money-making show of the network. Um, well, I mean, she ain't just wrong for getting the abortions. My son is in the wrong too, because if you kept getting her pregnant, then <laughs> she, she wasn't in the wrong by herself. Now, yes, it was her body and her choice and she should have put it together, but she, she didn't get pregnant by herself. We all thank God that Junior is here. The world would not be such a special place without Junior. So we all get it. And we are all grateful. And we all love him. I even, Jaden has even literally told me he's the cutest thing ever. And she, although it probably crushed her, he's a beautiful baby and she, we all agreed. So where y'all thinking other people is like doing like y'all doing, we not doing that. Yes, we have played little trolling internet games to irritate you people, but we have never, ever, ever behind closed doors, she has never said she wish he was not here or John need to do something with him or any of that. Y'all want to watch a family divide so bad, leave them be to heal. Junior's starting to look like Blueface. I've always said he looked like him. How did the conversation start with Krishan's abortion? Good Lord. Child, they get on here and they say something about the girl. They go on each side instead of just saying like, this has been going on for like four years. Like, let it rest. Let's just think about the kids. I still breastfeed my two-year-old. Ooh. <coughs> okay, girl. <clears throat> too bad Blueface has never claimed him on his own I thought he did but maybe not I ain't, don't give me the line because we all been through some weird stuff and then said and did some weird stuff I don't know if he did or not I, to me he did to me, my son said, Mom, you know, help. There's a situation, da-da-da-da-da. I, I reached out. I tried my best. As far as we know, I he didn't, that's not what he told me personally. You got. I got to stop them from saying dumb stuff. Girl, do you know the dumb stuff that they have said about me? Now, how the hell I'm going to stop them from saying dumb stuff if I couldn't even stop them from saying it about me? Blue claimed him when he kidnapped him. Yep, there we go. He said she got my son out here in the cold. Sure did. 
I remember that. I remember that. And when she called him, if y'all remember, she called him and said, can your mom come in to see the baby or not? Remember? And, sh and he gave her permission that if that's not your kid, why are you going to give permission for your mom to see the baby? He would have called me and said, why is you over there? That's not my baby. But he got on the phone and said, y'all heard him on the phone. Y'all don't be giving him no credit either. Y'all just be dogging my son. But that's okay because the one that get dogged the most is the one that's going to come out on top. I tell him that all the time. You getting dogged the most because you got the most responsibility. He told her when I was on the phone, yes, let my mom see the baby outside because if your house is dirty or nasty, she going to talk about you. That's what he tell everybody. So that's what he said. He didn't say, why you over there, mama, that ain't my baby. He, I'm sure he would have said that. The devil is a liar. <laughs> Girl, if I didn't care, I would have never been talking to her sister. I would have never been trying to figure it out. I would have never told my son he could he can he can come home with me. I would have never so just cause y'all don't see everything doesn't mean that it's something ain't happening. She obviously is learning probably now from the people that's around her how people really feel. And she know how people really feel too. She know me. So I don't, I don't know why y'all keep trying to keep, keep the, keep the mess going instead of just worrying about the kids. If you got kids and you on here still trying to keep the division with the kids going and y'all see how happy them kids is to be cousins and brothers and sisters and happy together. Shame on y'all. Y'all must ain't got no stepsisters or y'all must not have no, your, your daddy ain't got no baby with nobody else. Just think about how you feel about your sibling. Now, I don't fuck with my sibling that got another daddy. <laughs> um, but I'll do anything for her. She said, can you please go on instead of turning this into a Krishan discussion? No, ma'am. This is the discussion of the day is about her saying a prayer for me and people that haven't been caught up or brought up to speed and want to talk about it. If they need an outlet to talk about whatever, that's what we all here for. We all went through this for the last four years. So if you don't want to hear about it, you got to go pick another live. She should have picked another family. I don't know. But I'm going to call y'all back because Jaden is calling me and I'm supposed to get my kids today. So I, I really get now I really got to go. But I'm going to go check it out in the meantime, in between time. And I'll hit y'all back when I get ready to um, before I have to pick some kids up from school because I got to pick some kids up from school too. So I love y'all and thank y'all for bringing me the good cheer and the good news because I've been waiting on it. And I've been saying, God, if this is what it is, then you know I know. So I'm going to go check it out and I'll let y'all know if what I find, what I find, what y'all sent me. And thanks for sending it late because y'all normally send me the stuff way earlier. We ain't going to blame y'all. We ain't going to blame y'all because it ain't y'all fault. I should have got tagged in it. I should have been invited to sit down, but that's neither here nor there. I'll call y'all back and let y'all know. <laughs>